On your contact page, you have a few options. You can either go into the Elements More tab and pull down um, the form for a contact form, or you can include text that just has your email address. I'm going to start with a contact form just to show you what it looks like. With a contact form, it will auto-populate in their name, email, and comments. I think this is really great and easy and allows uh, the flexibility of uh, using the website itself as a way to submit information, though there are other options. If you wanted to say, uh, use the space to write, contact me, send me a message, something like that, just double click very easily type. If you wanted to get rid of, of one of the per particular fields, you could exit out here. I'll just show you that. Um, I'm going to leave it in. Or if you wanted to add some more, you can, if you notice here at the top, if you want to say, you know, did you like my ePortfolio, you know, you can enter it in, you can change the field, field title. Say I only wanted there to be two options. Save that in. Um, and then I can also, if I want to change the form options, if I wanted it to say instead of going to my ASU email, maybe I wanted it to go to a Gmail account, it will use as a standard default uh, the email address that you've used to sign up for Weebly, but if you wanted it to go somewhere else, this is a place to change it. And you can also uh, change the confirmation text once somebody enters in that form. If you wanted uh, to, instead of the basic text, thank you, your information has been submitted. If you wanted to add more of a note, or if you wanted to send them to a special page, perhaps, that, that you had made uh, on your website, you could, can make those options. Always make sure you're clicking Save as you do this. And that's going to set you up for the form. If, however, you just wanted to include some basic text, I'm going to show you that. You could just pull down a paragraph box. You could enter in your email. I'll just do the elgosma at asu.edu and then say I wanted to list a phone number. I can do that. Um, however, if you do include an email, what I would do is make sure that you highlight it, click the link button, and turn it into an email address link. I think that's just fair for your audience because you don't want them to have to open up an email client and copy and paste your email. It should very easily be uh, clickable from the website itself so that when they hover over that text, if they click it, it opens in their Outlook or, or whatever other email client they have set as their default. So those are a couple options for your contact page, whether you want to use the form or whether you want to type your own custom text. You've got quite a bit of options.